guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. So today I did a bold wing with a like purple smoky look and some glossy lips. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to do this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off this makeup look, I'm going to be priming my lids with the NYX HD Concealer in the shade 01. Next to set that, I'm going in with my Naked Skin Urban Decay Loose Powder. This is in the shade Naked Light. Next, I'm going in with the Anastasia's Self Made Palette today. And for the first transition shade, I'm going to be going in with the shade Hot and Cold, which is the shade right here. Next, I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, right above the color that we just used, and I'm going to just apply that right over what I just did. Next, I'm going to be going in the shade Deep Purple, which is a very bright purple, and I'm going to be using the brush that the palette came with. I'm going to use the black fluffy side to put this on the outer corner of my eye. Next, I'm going in with the shade Hot and Cold, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to be putting that um, more on the outer corner of the eye to give it a little bit more depth. So, after that, this is what it looks like, and I'm just going to go back in and like touch it up a little with the brighter purple, just so you don't really lose the transition of light to dark in there. Then I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 35F palette and I'm gonna use the first two shades. No, I'm gonna use the first shade and I'm gonna wet my this flat brush that I have so that it's more pigmented. So it looks like that, like you see how pigmented it is? Okay, now once that dries, we'll fix it so it doesn't look so choppy, but I'm going to move on to the other eye. Okay, so once you have that on, you don't want to leave it like that. It looks really choppy, especially when you like wet your brush like that. So I'm just going to go back in with the purple colors and blend all the colors and stuff together. I'm going to go in with the brighter one first, and then go more towards the front. And then I'm going to go in with the darker purple. Here's it up close. Don't mind my ugly face. So I've come to the conclusion I want to wear a wing. I mean, if you don't want to wear a wing with this look, don't wear a wing with this look. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do my wing off camera today uh, because... I do my wing and just about every video, and I made an eyeliner video, so if you want to know how I do my wing, then please press the link in the description, so I'll see you guys when I have a wing. Now I have on both of my wings and only one eyelash because I wanted to film me putting them on, and I wanted to like explain how to do it because before like I could actually do it, I watched so many videos and I just couldn't like understand how to put it on. Right now it looks kind of crusty, but when this is done drying, then I go over it with liner to like cover the band. Moving along, I'm going to show you guys how to apply it. So I'm currently wearing the Kiss Demi Wispy Lashes. I've worn these, this is like my third time wearing these, um, because they're already worn and they're broken into. Okay, so how I apply them is I personally use tweezers, even if I have nails, I just like using tweezers because because then you're not like this and then you can't really see in the mirror, but like this you're more far away. Your hand is like far away and it's not like in your eye. Um, so I take the lash and I put the tweezers in the middle and as close to the band as possible. And then I take the glue. Don't judge me, this glue is so ratchet, but like, <laughs> I don't have anything else. It's blue, don't judge me. And then, you have to wait 30 seconds, because if you put it on right away, it won't stick. You gotta wait for it to get tacky. Then I take a mirror so I can go as close as I want, um, and then you're just gonna throw it in the center, 
and then stick it on there. You want to stick it down as fast as possible because the glue will dry. So now I'm just going to cover up the band a little bit with my liner. And make sure the line is straight because sometimes when you put on the fake lashes, it can like pull your eyelid in like an uneven way. So then it looks like your eyeliner is uneven. So just fix that up. Next I'm going to be taking mascara and I'm just kind of going to like do this like mood. Ow! You have this mascara and you've ever stabbed your eye. So let's try this again. And I'm just pushing my real lashes into the, you know, the fake ones. Okay, so now when we're done with that we can move on to the face. And first thing you want to do, which is why I do my eyes first, any fallout that you have, you can simply wipe away. If you don't have any, great. Now your makeup will just look as good. Now I'm going to be going in with the Nivea Men Post Balm Shave in Sensitive. All you really need is like that much. And apply it all over your face and your neck. Okay, moving on to a foundation, I am going to be using the True Match by L'Oreal in the shade W3. I'm actually going to mix them today because I'm getting so bored with my foundation and whatever. So I'm using the Fit Me one in the shade 130. And I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. I don't know, I've just never mixed. Oh shit, hole. So yeah, I'm going to mix that on the back of my hand with my finger like so uh, it's so funny oh my god okay so there was like a point where I completely stopped using my beauty blender and the only reason I stopped using it was because I'm a lazy dirt bag um, so I just totally stopped using this because I'm too lazy to go to my bathroom and wet it I don't know like I used it yesterday I was like hmm let me like use something else and I did, and I was like, oh my god, I forgot how much I love it. My skin has been so dry. Like, my face literally eats my foundation. <laughs> I'm so extra. <laughs> All right, Heather, are we done? I think so. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. And I, like, again, totally stopped doing this step. A, because... My skin is dry, and this product, I feel like, really dries out my skin. But I think it's just my skin that just eats everything that I put on my face. But I'm going to do it today because I feel like I haven't slept in six years, and I look like I haven't slept in six years. And Okay, so I'm just going to blend that. Um, so next, I'm going to set my face. Well, I'm going to set my under eye with the Naked Skin Powder. And I'm just applying this powder underneath my eyeballs. And then I'm going to go in with my Airspun Translucent Powder to set my entire face. I'm trying different techniques for my skin. While this is out, I'm just going to take this other brush that has synthetic hairs. And I'm going to like bring this to where I'll put my contour. Um or bronzer, like whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be doing my under eyes. I'm going to go in with the colors basically that I used on the top, but I'm, gonna put, but I'm going to put them on the bottom. I'm just going to use the flat side that the brush came with. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics and apply this on my lower lash line. For contouring, I'm going back in with my Ulta Contour Kit, and I'm going to be using those two bottom shades right there. For that, I'm going in with my Real Techniques brush. 
And to make that look a little bit more blended, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and apply this on the temples. Next is the brows, and I'm just brushing them out. And then I'm going in with my, you guys know the drill, the Naked Basics palette. And I'm going up the shade Naked, which is the shade right here. For this part, I like to raise my eyebrow because then you can see it a lot better. Next, I'm going to be applying a little bit of blush just because I'm wearing purple today and you don't really want to like put a lot of blush because you're already wearing a bright color. And then, of course, for my highlights, I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And to apply that, I'm using this Luxie brush, the 524T brush. I'm going to apply it on the tip of my nose and my mouth. So I'm just going to apply some old lip gloss that I've had for six years. Um, it actually still smells good. I'm going to throw up though. Alright, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys liked it. I had a lot of fun filming this video for you guys and I really like the way this came out. You can switch it up. You can not wear false lashes. You don't even have to wear a wing. I don't really know what else to say. So yeah, follow all my social media. I'll leave it in the description. And make sure you check out my last video to see how I do my eyeliner because I didn't do it in this video because my camera is about to die. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.